Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers and I'm a dyed in the wool traditionalist. I'm a big fan of big steaming hot firing valve amps. I love the smell of a valve amp on a hot summer's day. I love all that kind of thing, plexis and twins and you know fenders and marshals and I love everything about valve amps. I am a traditionalist. And then sometimes when you're a touring musician, when I get the chance without there being a plague, you know, you've got to worry about a valve blowing or something else frying on a circuit board and, you know, these things need to be fixed and it isn't always that easy. And I was chatting to my friends Laura and Simeon at Toman a few days back. Hi, guys. And I said, could I please try this? It is the Harley Benton Custom Line Thunder 99 50-watt amplifier. You might recall... Um, a few months, maybe even a year back, I demonstrated something like this in the studio that Luke happened to have here as kind of a, a safety measure. And I was really blown away because I'd never tried one before. And lots of people said, have you tried the Harley Benton version? Or, and there were some other brands too that I forget. And so I said to Simeon and Laura, can I get one? And they were like, yeah, sure. So they sent me one. And it's incredible. When I plugged into it, the first thing I said was a swear word that I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> it is stereo, 50 watts. It has an on-off latching button and it has a more knob. And I'm now going to play some guitar for you. So it's on now. When it's off... It has a red light. And then when it's on, it has a green light. That's all you need to know. That's pretty much the entire functionality. Uh, clean. Oh, I'll tell you what, turn off my reverb and delay. sounds great it sounds warm and kind of juicy and <clears throat> it doesn't sound like a little pedal that would power your board it's 50 watts that's louder than you'll ever need i mean yes it's not a valve 50 watts so probably i mean it feels like a 30 watt valve amp is what it feels like and <clears throat> i mean in terms of volume when you put okay look i'll back up a little bit my mission that I gave myself was to create a pedal board that is just my entire rig on a board, plug it into a speaker. I'm using a Celestian, it's back at Celestian in a 1x12. And I thought, a pedal board that does everything. Having just demoed the Harley Benton Ultimate Drive, I thought, all right, I use that. I always use the MXR boost line driver. I always use the immersed reverberator. Have I got everything I need here? Almost, I mean, I haven't got like a lead drive but I can just turn up the ultimate drive so with this board I now have a 50 watt amplifier that could be stereo by the way because it has two outs I've got reverb and delay I've got a boost kind of like a channel 2 and I've got a drive pedal that sounds great check this out it almost annoys me how good this sounds <laughs> Thank you. 
Honestly, I'm not sort of sure whether this demonstration shows off more how practical and incredible and useful the Thunder 99 is, or just how great of a drive pedal the ultimate drive is, because the two of them together sound really, really good. And yeah, you've got to kind of tweak the tone to find the right place. If you go too far, it's too bright. If you go back, it's too dark and that kind of thing. And the gain, you know, you can back it off and get that sort of crunch, but is it organic? Let's have a listen. <laughs> much fun it's too much fun having an entire amplifier on a pedal board I've set it to like a very quiet bedroom volume right now I would say that overall it's kind of quite dark but you can easily alter that with the tone control of any game pedal crunch pedal whatever you're going to use and I've got it sounding really good now and an incredibly low volume and that and I just put on a game pedal and Sounds mint. Well, there's not a lot more to tell you about the incredible Thunder 199 other than it's a 50 watt amp for under 100 euros, 100 pounds, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty damn affordable. Um, it has a little line in if you wanted to line in something and jam along. It has a little headphones in, but in case you wanted to. That's not the sound it makes, that's just me making a silly sound. In case you wanted to put headphones in it, it's incredibly durable. It comes with its own 24 volt power supply, so you can make it go. 50 watts and stereo. Where else can you find a 50 watt stereo amplifier for under 100 euros? I don't know. I've been Rob Chapman, take it easy. Chappers out. Mm -hmm.